Hey there. Okay, today we are working on um, solving systems of equations. Remember, a system of equations is at least two, possibly more equations that share the same solution. Okay, and there's three methods to solving a system. Um, we can solve a system by graphing, we can solve a system by elimination, and we can solve a system by substitution. And I'm going to run through all three of those methods. Um, you did all three of these in um, Algebra 1. Okay. All right, first up, solving by graphing. Um, simply put, we need to graph our lines and see where they intersect. Their intersection point is the solution to the system. So here we go. Uh, here's our system, two equations, two variables, and we need to get these graphed. Uh, I don't think they're quite ready to be graphed. I'm going to switch these to slope-intercept form to get them graphed easily. So that's going to turn into, let's see, I'll subtract 2x from both sides. And then I'll divide by negative 1. There we are. Now I can get that graphed easily. Um, that is a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of up 2 over 1 up 2 over 1, and just for good measure, I'll go down 2, back 1, 2, back 1. There we are. Use a straight edge. You're going to need to use a straight edge for graphing systems. Okay, there's one of our lines. Next up, second line. Again, I'm going to switch this to slope-intercept form to make it easy to work with. Um, subtract 5x from both sides. And then divide by 2 uh, all the way through. So I'm end up with y equals negative 5 halves x minus 8. Okay. So y-intercept of negative 8. I have a slope of negative 5 over 2. Well, I can't go down 5, but I can go up 5 and back 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, back 2. Okay. There I am. There are my two lines graphed, and now I can clearly see their intersection point is my solution to the system. That solution is negative 2, negative 3. Okay. Um, number 2 is for you to try. Before you do that, though, I want to remind you of a couple things. Um, most systems of equations have a solution. But sometimes it gets really interesting. Sometimes, remember, there is no solution. Sometimes we can have a system that has no solution. Okay. And what's that going to look like? Well, graphically speaking, that's going to be when your lines are parallel. If you have parallel lines, there is no solution to that system. Okay. Um, of course, you know that uh, parallel lines have the same slope. but different y-intercepts. Okay. Um, another interesting thing that could happen is there's infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. Now, um, graphically speaking, what will that look like? That's when both of your equations graph to the same line. It'll be the same line. Or they'll have the same equation. And if that happens, that's infinitely many solutions. Okay? All right, there we go. Solving systems by graphing again. Uh, you do number two. But moving right along, before we do that, um, I'm going to solve now our other two methods are solving algebraically. Okay, First one is substitution. To solve by substitution, what we want to do is solve one of our equations for one of the variables and sub it into the other equation. Okay, so 
look at this. X has a coefficient of 1. If I added 6y to both sides, then this equation would be solved for X. So I'm going to add 6y to both sides of the equal sign. Then I have X equals 6y minus 1. Now I can take everything that x equals and substitute it in for the x in the other, the other equation. Make sure you use the other equation when you're solving. Okay, so I'm going to take this here, sub it in for that x. So that's going to give me 4 times x, but not x, 6y minus 1 plus 8y equals 12. Now there's one variable in one equation and I can get that solved. All right, uh, let's see, distribute. So combine some like terms. What do we have? Uh, 32y equals 16. So that y equals 1 half. Okay, now that I have one of the variables, I can take this solution for my one variable and solve it in, uh, substitute it into one of my other equations. You know what? I'm going to su substitute it into this one down here that we created because then I can quickly and easily find out what x equals. So that x equals 6 times y, but y I now know equals 1 half minus 1. So what do we have? 6 times 1 half is 3 minus 1 equals 2. So uh, the solution to this system right here will be 2 comma 1 half. Okay? All right. You're up for number four. All right. Ooh, number four is a little bit different. You are still using substitution. This is set up perfectly for substitution already. Don't be scared. Okay? You can take everything over here that y equals. Y equals all of this right here substitute it in for that y. Okay, so you can take all of this right here, sub it in for that y. Okay, so then I'll have, when I have this substituted in for that y, I'll have negative 4x plus 8 equals 2x minus 10. Okay, and then continue to solve that, uh, finish up solving that system. Okay. You can pause now, do that, or actually I am going to move on to the third way to solve a system of equations by elimination. Um, actually, sometimes it's also called combination because we're going to end up adding these equations together. So some places you may see elimination, some people, uh, some people may refer to it as combination. And what that means is we are going to add the two equations together so that we eliminate one of our variables. Okay. Um, if I added these two equations right now, nothing is eliminated, okay? Because in order to eliminate one of the variables, I need the coefficients to be um, the same number but opposite signs, okay? One needs to be a positive, one needs to be a negative. Well, look, I already right here have the opposite signs. If only their numbers were the same. Well, that's easy to fix. I could multiply this bottom equation by 2. If I multiply this entire equation by 2, this would then be positive 4y, and when I add it with a negative 4y, it gets wiped out. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this whole equation by 2. Please remember to multiply the entire thing by 2, okay, every single one of those terms. And now I'm just going to bring this, um, that top equation down there. and I'm going to add these up, okay? 13x, look at that, 4y plus negative 4y, gone, equals 91. So that x equals, I don't know, whatever 91 divided by 13 is, 7. Now take that and sub it in for y. Now sub it in for x, I'm sorry. So I'll take 3 times 7 minus 4y equals 1. 